Hey guys, what's up? Um, why is my hair caught? I got my hair done this morning. Um, there's a little bit more blonde in it, so I'm trying to like lighten it slightly. You know what I mean? For just like more depth. Um, anyway, that's not the point. The point is, is that I have a new low calorie thing. We all know I'm fat right now. It's a given um, because I am pregnant and this first trimester has been so awful. Like, um, it's, I told you guys, it's like a hangover. I'm wearing the C-bands. Oh my God, it's so embarrassing. These are like pressure point. They're like bands that you can wear like when you go um, like whatever on boat and you get seasick. And apparently these are like just pressure point things. I don't know, they kind of work unless it's like um, psychosomatic, might be, I don't know. They do work for me and I, when I don't wear them, I feel like I'm falling apart. So it could be psychosomatic, I don't know. Anyway, I, I hate smoothies, I really do. I hate smoothies. Smoothie, I hate drinking calories. I don't drink calories, a lot of people do. It's fine, do you, I don't because I like food so I cannot drink calories and eat calories you know what I mean so I and I've never been like a two I've never been like a crazy fruit person I feel like you're either a fruit person or like a chocolate person you know what I mean and I'm definitely more chocolate like when I'm, when the dessert menu comes some people choose fruity stuff some people choose chocolatey stuff I'm the chocolate person because I'm a pig okay that's just how I am anyway so um I just am not a big smoothie person plus they are really fattening okay smoothies are very fattening except this one oh my god so i forget what it was last week i went to this mall or whatever and i'm gonna get into the mall in a second and you guys are gonna get really mad at me but like it's just true and like i'm like what i'm, I'm like why um okay so and yes i had um a veggie six inch on wheat subway with just vegetables and salt and pepper and vinegar okay so also very low cal i'm like you guys i need to stop because this baby i'm eating baby food like she wants peanut butter sandwiches bean and cheese burritos smoothies like what the fuck so anyway i was at the, at the mall and i was trying to i was like i walked by a jamba juice and i was like that sounds really good like just strawberry banana so i went in and i was like okay i was thinking to myself why just get strawberries and bananas with water or a little bit of apple juice that can't be that much right so I looked on the menu and they had this thing called like strawberries gone wild it was like under the kids menu a small one is only 140 calories I was like what the fuck so I was like can I have that but I said can you just do like water like, can you put water with the apple juice like half water half apple juice they're like yeah so it's even less so this is amazing it's just strawberries and bananas it's their strawberries gone wild I think in the, in the kids menu okay and I love it. It's so refreshing and I, I just love it. I would never ever in a million years order this in a million years in the past, but like this is what I eat now. So anyway, I went back and I got this. And I just have to ask you guys a question. Like I feel really bad bringing this up, but it's really depressing. And like I hate it. I, I really wanted this for like a couple days ago, but like I didn't want to go back to the mall because um, okay. I don't want to be rude because I'm not being rude. I'm just actually asking a question. Why are there so many like, like developmentally disabled people? Like not even like kids. There's like groups of like, like developmentally disabled, like physically, you know, more like developmentally disabled, disabled people in like groups walking around the mall. Okay, I'm sorry, like, no offense, I'm sorry. This is not a public space. Like, this mall is already so depressing as is. And then you have to like, then I have to like see like tragedy. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, okay, I know you're gonna be like, Alex, no. Get the fuck off of my page, I'm not kidding. I don't need you to be like, you're rude or you're, you, I, no, fuck you, okay? This is an actual, like, and don't tell me you fucking lying bitch that you don't feel that too, okay? I'm sorry. I don't want to like go somewhere and like, it's like, it's, it's very sad. Okay. It's very sad to me. And they're not in there eating lunch. They're not, they're walking around. You know how old people do that? I feel like I've heard this where old people, they like to peruse around the mall to get like watches to walk. Okay. Because it's air conditioned and things like that. 
Okay, I don't necessarily agree with it, but I don't care, okay? I feel like I don't like that. This is not a public space for you to peruse, okay? Um, if you're not shopping, get the fuck out. That's what I think. Um, This is a private property, okay? That's what I think. So it's not like I'm discriminating against one group. I just think it's weird. Like, why are you loitering? Because that's loitering, okay? I know we have no laws in California anymore, but you can't just walk around a mall. Okay, so obviously there's like groups of like, there's like group, not group homes, but like, hold on. Where's my fucking brush? There's like group, there's like groups, right? Of like, it, it's like, after, okay, it's like an adult, adult groups of like developmentally disabled people. Okay, so we'll just call them disabled. But they're not like physically disabled. They're just like, you know, do you understand? You know what I mean, okay? Like bagger vibe. Do you know what I mean? Like bagger boys, things like that. Stop. So, um... You guys, like, I don't like to, like, I don't, okay. So there's, I think it's like publicly funded. No, it's either publicly or privately funded, like these after school or adult, it's like adult groups, right? Where either this is run by the state or it's run privately. I don't know what it is. Either way, you guys have, why are you going, why are you walk? are they doing it to socialize? Okay, I'm just trying to figure it out. Either way, I just don't like it. Like, I'm sorry. It ha why do why am I I've been to this mall but this is a mall I've been going to since I was a kid it's just depressing now because like all malls are like really depressing now um why like it's not it's, you, like okay I don't know it's a it's on a field trip okay I could like this is I've been to this mall three times in the past two months to get a phone my phone then I went to get a pair of jeans and Jamba Juice again today okay all three times I've witnessed this, there's like groups of, of challenged people walking around like it's a field trip. They're not doing anything. And they're like, they're with like a leader or something, I think. I don't even, doesn't even look like it. Like there is, I don't know. And it's really depressing to me. Like, I'm sorry, it's depressing. If the mall is depressing. You, like the group of, of these like sad people made it even more depressing to me. It's not like I want them to stay home. Do not, do not paint me out to be a bitch because I will fuck you up okay because I'm not a bitch okay I'm actually asking you a fucking question I'm sorry if I was the mall owner like if I was the owner of the mall I wouldn't like this like why are you walking around my mall like just to peruse just to walk around this is not a public square okay go to like a park or or, or get, have like a field trip and sit down in the food court and have lunch like what are you doing do you know what I mean Anyway, for me, it's just like really depressing, okay? And like this, is, I'm not going there anymore. I'm just not because it depresses the fuck out of me to see that, okay? Like it does. Like, it's not like just one uh, one challenge person walking around. It's like a group of them, and it's very, very depressing to me. And do not be like, oh, what do you want to do? Stay at home? Like, no, shut up. Like these people, these places need to. I don't know. I I don't know, you guys. I'm just putting it out there that I'm like, why is why are they always here? Like it's just. It's tragic because like, I guess you're thinking, what else can they do? Okay, like I get it, but like, okay, I'm not going there anymore because I just, it's so awkward. And you guys know, no. Anyway, I did something this week. I did something yesterday. I don't ever tell you guys anything I do before anymore because people will like write in. Do you remember like I was supposed to go on that like, I don't give a fuck because they're not gonna like that morning toast or whatever and they like lied it was them like they like put out the calendar or something and they were like oh we're gonna have hrh on and then all these like little woke like retarded bitches were like writing in do not have her on do not have her on like these uh, ugly fat pieces of shit and instead of them being like alex i'm really sorry like we just can't have you on because we're getting too much backlash they like just pretended that were they were sick and they kept like postponing it and i started getting it was like months and I kind of was like, okay, what's going on? Like, are we going to do this or not? Like, it was weird. They weren't just telling me no. Like, it was so blatant. It was so rude, to be honest. And so, like, they, like it, they were such little, like, they were so rude about it. And it was very, like, fat behavior, to be honest. Like, you know what I mean? That's the truth. Like, why do you act like that? It was rude. Like, I would never do that. First of all, I wouldn't puss out. If you want to puss out, that's fine. But the way they handled it was rude, okay? R-U-D-E, rude, okay? And... Anyway, so that's why I don't, I never say anything that I do before they said it. Okay, so now I've learned I will never say anything until I do something because then people will call and be like, I didn't want her on you. I didn't want her on you. Because she tells the truth. Because she tells the truth. 
so 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 we can't hear it that's what you guys do okay because if you don't want me to suck joe biden's cock okay that's what you want me to do then it's not okay do you know what i mean so you want me to literally suck his cock okay or you it's like then it's like i'm not allowed to have an opinion okay and you may suck my fat ass cock that's the truth okay that's what you may do anyway so um that's i'm not doing that anymore anyway so yesterday I did something and um it was it's pretty cool i, I love it um i this person i've kind of like known him he's also controversial whatever I give a fuck um and he um he was like a a true like he bought jewelry for me like four years ago and he wore these earrings forever okay i'm not gonna say who it is yet because you'll you guys will see today um it's probably gonna go pretty well i think it's gonna go on tiktok and it's gonna do pretty well i'm sure he's really really big and um i'm really excited and i had a really good time it was really nice it was like something totally out of my element kind of because it's not my thing as you guys will know and i had some people like i kind of put like sneak peeks out last night on insta and some people were like oh my god alex like this is so not you i know you're dying and it's because it's really not and you guys just know me too well so when you see the video you're gonna be like but it's whatever it's all in fun okay it's all in good fun so um and I was, <laughs> it's okay. So it was good. And, um, so I did that yesterday, but I will never share anything I do before because people will do that and I'm not going to, you know, so you'll know it after because rats are just dumb as fuck. So I did that yesterday. Um, I'm trying to think about what else I wanted to say. There was something else I wanted to say. Oh yeah. I remember. Okay. So what I wanted to say is, um, I don't know why I do any, it, I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay. I don't know. I, it's like, God always makes me do me. I must work very hard to receive anything. Okay. I must always do, do everything for myself to receive that. I will never be able to lean on anyone else to receive anything. This is my, this is my, the story of me. Okay. Okay so many people out there gain celebrity or they gain popularity right or they gain like um their business grows because they went on a because they befriended someone or because they went on a certain like podcast and they, whatever do you know what i mean it does not happen for me i actually hate doing these podcast things i really do but i do them anyway because they're opportunities and i i you know i'm not going to ever turn down an opportunity and i like to talk and you know speak out or whatever and it's fun okay so i do do them but i'm telling you right now being on these podcasts like blah 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 i have never grown from them okay dr phil um i remember being on dr phil thinking oh my god like what if hrh like literally explodes dude like it was actually a very normal week that week like it didn't you know what i mean like nothing makes me grow except for me i do i am the only one that i don't I'm, that's why i do not send jewelry that's why I don't gift jewelry. That's why it doesn't matter. Nothing. I could literally give my entire collection of jewelry to a celebrity and have them wear it like for literally a month or whatever. And it wouldn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. It's like, I have to do the work. It has to come from me. It has to be on my channel. It has to be like what I wear. Like it doesn't work any other way. It's like, I don't know what it is. It doesn't make logical sense because if I'm going on these shows or po whatever, a podcast, whatever it is, with these people with large followings, why is it not translating to me? I have no idea. Like, it never does. Actually, it's, it's the exact opposite, and I hate it. I can't, I get nervous because every time I've learned, I get people who don't get it. Like, they don't get it. They are like new students. We don't like, new students suck. We know that, right? Because they have not been here. Or they're like offended rats who just don't get it. And they're like really offended. It's like, why are you here? Like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, go away. Like, they just don't get it. Like, they have missed too much. And they're like so like far back that they just, they'll never catch up. Um, So it's it's really weird. Like, I not, I will not gain a follower from have from, from, from collab, collabing with this person. That idea. I will not gain a dollar. I will not gain a follower. I will actually... Um, just gain rats, okay? And just, oh, it's just headache. It's a complete and total fucking headache. Where the motherfuck is my brush, dude? Like, I, I, I just can't. I just need a fucking brush. I'm gonna fucking tear this fucking place apart. Like, honestly, I'm just getting fucking pissed at this point. 
So anyway, I don't want to brush it out. It's so dry out too. Look at this, like static. Um, okay, so I it's just become it's a headache in the end, and I it's like dumb. And it doesn't make any like I said, I can't have my bangs cut again, they're too long. Any it doesn't make any logical sense. Like you should. Like anyone, I mean, typically people like I don't know. It's like I, I don't I don't know how things work. This is why like when I see people like doing what's the word, like affiliate links and stuff, like I don't, how does that work? Because I don't, I don't, would never, I don't, I've never done it, but I would never see any growth from it. I like, no, I wouldn't because I, I have done bigger things than that. And like, it doesn't. So I, everything from my, my realm is so organic. It's just me. Like, dude, I've tried, like, obviously you guys know I've been on like big shows and everything and like, it doesn't work. Like nothing works. It's weird. So I did this yesterday. It was really far. I hate fucking driving. Mm. really is not my thing at all but he's I know him from the past like he's I like people so he could have so easily written him and been like hey I'm this person I like these earrings you know what I mean he didn't do that he just bought them from the site like classy you know what I mean it's so annoying people do that like I don't respond it's really rude um I don't know like stop I don't give out jewelry. I just don't because it doesn't do anything for me. Like I'm not, I'm not this big, like huge Amazon where I can just like, you know, send you out shit. Like I don't know who the fuck you think you are. So and it doesn't work anyway. Like it doesn't work. Like, yeah, if you were able to like pull, I, I pull, I'm the one who pulls, you know, I pull, I do like, you don't do shit. Okay. Anyway. So I liked him then and whatever we talked. And so whatever, I just, he was cool to me, but like back, back before, back way back. And this is a really good opportunity, even though, like I told you, I'm not gonna get anything. Okay, too much on that subject. Anyway, you will see today, um, he's gonna be posting something. And yeah, um, that. Today I was planning on getting into the whole abortion thing. I said I was going to, but I just feel like, um, I, I kind of was hot, like, I was kind of annoyed that day and I wanted to talk about it. I'm not really wanting to do this right now, um, so I'm not going to. Not because I'm afraid at all. I will do it at another point. If I want to, I just don't really want to. I um, tweeted about it and stuff, and I've already have made a video on it before, so you guys got you guys kind of do know my thoughts about it. I've just gotten to the point where um no, I'm in the same I'm in the same view, exact same viewpoint that I posted before where but I'm actually got I've gotten to the point where like, I don't want to say anything until I do the whole video. And I just don't think I'm like in, I'm sick right now. You know what I mean? I just don't feel like I have energy and I don't want to, I want to have it all organized kind of in my brain before I do it. I don't, I don't know. Sorry. Yeah. I'm like really sick right now. And I, don't, I know you guys are, I don't know if you guys are sick of me. I'm not even really showing still. Cause I'm like 12 and I'm like 12 weeks in a few days te technically. So it's just, I don't know. I've been really fucking sick and I can't even like pray to God about it, to be honest, because can you imagine like, oh wow. So I gave your dumb fucking fat ass, um, I gave you pregnancy. I gave you, I gave you a shot, you 39 year old bitch of pregnancy. And now you're complaining that you have, um, first trimester sickness. Like who the fuck do you think you are? So this is how I imagine God would think about my my prayers to him or my like, you know, crying to him basically. My eyebrows are not dark enough um, about, about how sick I've been. He'd be like, shut the fuck up. Like there are people who literally cannot get pregnant and you're sitting here crying and please help, please help, please make it better. Like I just can't even do it, you guys. I literally can't even, I forgot to put this on my, my hair, my face. Um, I really can't even, even ask him. I can't, I'm embarrassed. I'm literally embarrassed to ask him like for relief. I am. And you know why too? Actually, I do get about a couple hours of relief every day. I feel like it just depends. Like for the past couple of days, I've been actually okay during the day. Um, and then I think tomorrow it will come back in a fury. Like I think tomorrow, like what, oh my God, I want to, tomorrow it will literally come back so hard. Cause like I had a good couple of days and then, um, the morning sickness it's not morning it's ever i went above it's gross <laughs> um oh i look like wow i look disgusting 
I feel like it's like, oh, you had a good two days. Fuck. Um, I'm gonna fuck you up now. Like, that's what I feel like I get. Like, if I get, wow. I don't know what I just did to my fucking eyebrow. Oh, shit. What the fuck did I do? Why is it so big right here? I don't know, you guys. We'll have to deal until I get help. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, you're gross. Okay. Um, so, like, I just can't even pray to him about it, even though I've been really, 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 really sick to my stomach. Horrible. Um, so, this isn't going to be the longest video because I don't feel the best. Um, but I kind of just want to leave a little bit for you guys. By the way, this is my new um, treasure cross. It's so gorgeous. It comes in silver and gold. Look at those crystals. And I'm wearing my Maison dagger, which I love in the 22, 20. And this is my Rue Pave. I love this piece so much. It has Pave links every so often. And it's just, it's something I wear all the time. It's like one of my favorites. And I think I talked about this on my Instagram like the other day. I was like, so cause someone had ordered it. And I was like, I just love when people order this because it's literally one of my favorites. Okay, so I just wanted to leave you guys. I, I'm not going to do a long video today because I'm exhausted. I just don't feel well. Yesterday was so long, like, because I had to go do that collab and stuff, and I'm just really sick. Okay, so um, I want to, like, just kind of leave you guys with a little thought. And for the people out there who are, like, so pro-abortion, like, and this thing is, like, I don't care. But so you guys think I'm, like, anti-abortion? It's not that. I swear to God, like, and I'm not trying to, like, cover anything. You guys, I don't give a fuck about you at all. I, you guys look at my last video. I'm probably speaking the same way. Um, I, this is the thing we all know what I, I don't, maybe you don't because you're just, you're lying to yourself and you're just so your mind, your mind is so rotted by like the left. It's the wrong thing to do. Like it is. Okay. Like you don't have to say it is, it, you don't have to, you are just so you're, it's the wrong thing to do. It is okay. Period. Like if, why can't we all admit that? Okay. Why can't we all admit it's not the right thing to do okay if you don't think it's the, if you think it's fine i know a lot of people out there are so insane they think it's fine it's disgusting like whatever so at least just know what you're doing that's all i that's all i think really is just know what you're doing just admit what you're doing you know what i mean i think if we admitted what we were doing then we wouldn't like be so braggadocious about it like people out there are like being the, like literally the most satanic piece of shit ever like weird like creepy like it's not funny like bragging they've had abortions and the late term thing is disgusting like that like the left has pushed it too far with the late term you know it was like something where it was um rare and safe right for a long time and people did it and you shouldn't talk about it okay like it was a mistake like you might have been young or it wasn't the right whatever and you had an early abortion like Things happen, people make decisions. It's not my decision. And to be honest, you guys, like, I know you can, I'm, I'm a fiscal conservative. Like that is my main thing is like, I'm very fiscally conservative. Like that's, you guys, duh. Like it's just a smart, like I have a, a brain in my head. Okay, like you guys don't. And you think that you, oh, you go to your man and you go to like your, your boss and you're like, I want to raise, I want to raise like when the company is like not doing well or something and then you think that you're gonna have a job in a year like you're stupid okay like you just don't understand it's very very like the smallest idea of economics okay and it's not even having to do with economics like having a functioning brain okay the more you fucking piss off and start asking for more money the more their like companies are going to fucking get rid of you okay and find other ways they don't have to hire your fucking obnoxious useless ass okay because you're useless okay they can they can replace you 40 times over okay so anyway this is it i forgot <laughs> where am i getting on i forget where i was going with this oh shit so back to the abortion thing I, i'm a fiscal conservative right okay so i as i'm christian i am and you guys don't care about like the holier than thou is right now who are gonna come for me get the sit down okay you're also out of my class because you're a turn off, okay? If we, I'm so done with, I really am done. I'm sorry. Like, I don't care enough. You guys, this is the thing. I'm going to get into it maybe a little bit. I didn't want to, but I'm going to because it's rolling. Why, why do we want, why do we want psycho mothers, like, who are going to raise awful children and rear them incorrectly, 
like make them woke and left and stupid, okay? Or probably just need like subsidies up the fucking asshole, which we will have to end up paying for. When they want abortion, let them have the abortion. Like that's what I really think. Actually, for those of you who are begging for abortions, take them! Abort, 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 abort! Take it, take it, go, go. Like I swear to God, that's what I think. I don't want to pay for your children. I don't want retarded losers in society, which you will produce. So, um, you know what? I, you know what? Yes. Your body, your choice. I swear to God, bitch, take it. Do you, do you, do you, do you. You will have to like answer to your maker. You have none, I know, right? In your mind later on, but that's on you. Why does it matter to me? I don't want anything. Like if they want to do it, why, or we, who cares? Okay. Like the late term, like it just should not be allowed. Like that's the problem. Like, oh my God. Like, no bitch. If you miss your opportunity, you're having the, like, you're having the child. Like period. Like, are you a fucking devil? Like literally, like you're sick. You are a demon. Okay. Um, but what was I saying? Oh yeah. So I was saying something else, but the, uh, I keep on forgetting paying for them. Yeah. I said that. Um, oh yeah. I am done. You guys, this is like, I told you I have no party. Like I, I, I will vote for the correct person, but I have no party cause I just cannot relate. I am so sick of conservatives harping on the fucking abortion thing. Let them have the abortions. Let them have them. They, who cares? We don't want those fucking rat children anyway. You know what I mean? Like, fuck you and fuck them kids. Like, literally, the meme, fuck you and fuck them kids. Like, bye. Like, bye. Like, I don't understand. Why are we fighting so hard for this? We're losing the country because we're trying to save, like, babies who they don't even, their fucking own mothers don't even want. Like, what are we doing? I just, like, it's, I don't understand. I'm done. Like, I, the more I thought about it, the more I was like, wait, I don't even want these fucking weirdos to have, like, awful kids anyway. Like, bye. Okay? Like, don't produce. Do not produce. Okay? Perfect. Like, duh. If you are, like, a great person, produce. No, I don't want you to get an abortion. I'd love to. I will not allow you to. <laughs> okay, do you see what I mean? Like, I'm done. We are losing the country over abortion. Over kids that are going to be fucked up anyway. And then we're going to probably pay for. So, why would we do that? This country is so disgusting already with the biggest losers ever, okay? And I'm done with it. Yes, I am. So, you guys win. Are you not happy? All of the rats out there with the feces stuck to their assholes? Like, are you not happy that I just told you to get abortions? Like, you have my permission. Your body, your choice. Oh my God, I am for you, bitch. Like, yes, girl, do you, do you. Get that abortion. I, I'm 100% behind you, get it, okay? Yes, I agree. And you know what? what I, let me see your voting record and I will tell you whether or not you should get an abortion. I swear. Like that is, it's that simple. So if you'd like to know, just send me your, send me your voting history and I will tell you. So are you happy now? Are you happy? Because all of the rats were so pissed because they think that I'm like pro-choice. And I swear to God, I'm like not pro-choice at all. But just know what you're doing. But not even that anymore. I don't even want the losers and the rats to know what they're doing anymore. Get the abortion. Just go. Because I don't want to pay for your kid. And I don't want losers in the world. So, you know, it's like, you just don't procreate. Please. Please, for the love of God, don't procreate. Um, anyway. So, I wasn't going to go into um, the abortion thing. But I did. And, yeah. So, wow. I know I'm going to do. I'm literally going to start wearing the my body, my choice. Your body, your choice. Not mine. No, bitch. I'm going to raise an amazing ch child. I'm, doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm going to wear a button that says your body, your choice. Okay. Cause I'm talking to basically everyone, not everybody. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. I'm kidding, but not really. I got this hat. I love it. I love these fuzzy hats. So cute, right? Oh, is this cute for like the front? All right. That's it. But the rat should calm down now because I gave them their choice. Like I said, you're right. Take it, take it. Like, oh my God, I literally like checkmated you. And everyone's happy. Love it.